Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing my current makeup routine. This is what I do every day. So to start off with, I'm using this Olay Double Action Moisturiser. It's also a primer as well, but as you'll see, I also use another primer as well just to kind of give my makeup a bit more of a protective base. So I'm just massaging this into my face. And I'll also put some on my neck as well. using the professional by benefit and I'm just adding this onto my nose, chin and forehead I believe. I put some under my eyes as well because I do tend to have some open pores under my eyes. So you just put them in the problem areas where you tend to have more open pores. a liquid concealer I don't know the name of it as the name is rubbed off but um, it's in the shade medium and it just helps cover up any spots if I add foundation and the foundation that I'm using today is the Revlon photo ready um, foundation in 004 nude and I just pumped that onto a brush and buffed it into my face and also I took it down onto my neck as well as it is slightly um, darker than my skin but obviously I do fake tan so it matches so I'm still blending that in I tend to put more on my cheeks where I have a lot more scarring so it helps cover that up So I'm using this Bobbi Brown Stick Concealer in number one warm ivory and I'm just putting that on my scars on my cheeks and on any blemishes on my forehead and just blending that in. So I'm taking the Naked Free palette and to start off with I'm using the colour Strange which is a white kind of colour and I'm just putting that all over my lid as a base before I put any colour on my lid and I also use this on my brow bone as well which I don't think is included in the video. So now I'm taking the colour Limit which is a medium brownish purplish and I'm just putting that on the creases of my eye with a kind of a big blendish brush just to have that as a contrast colour as you'll see later on I'll use a dark colour so I'm just putting that all kind of all over but I'm not putting it in the inner part of my lid as you'll see I'm just using the strange colour and blending that in so there's no harsh lines. So now I'm taking a small brush and I'm using the MAC uh, Studio Fix Fluid, I'm spraying that onto the brush and I'm using the colour Trick, also by Urban Decay, and I'm putting that on just my lid. So it's kind of like a, a foiled effect colour and it's a nice golden colour as well and it goes well with the browns. You might find that you'd have to keep on spraying it with the, you can use just water or the Studio Fix, I find that works a little bit more better because it helps to keep the uh, eyeshadow in place but I had to keep on spraying on my brush to make sure that I got the effect that I wanted it. I didn't want it to look powdery, so yeah. I'm 
and I'm just blending any edges. And now I'm using this Maybelline uh, eyeshadow duo. I don't know the name of it because it's in Japanese or Chinese, but I'm using the brown, dark brown shade and just using that on the crease of my eye to give it a bit more of a smoky effect. Doing it on the other eye and to make sure, keep looking back and making sure that they're both even and then going in, blending, etc. As you see, taking the blending brush and just blending all lines, there's no harsh edges. So now taking the same uh, duo, I'm taking this gold with hints of green running through it and I'm also, I put some spray on the brush and I'm putting it on top of the gold to, I, I found that the gold wasn't as intense as I wanted it to so I put this on top and it was perfect. Blending in any edges with the brown and using the blending brush to blend all the edges together. Now I'm taking this eyebrow definer, don't know the brand of it but I know I've got it from Boots and I'm just brushing my eyebrows through it and it's kind of like a tint so it's not like a powder and it's just got like a little nib and you just run it through your eyebrows and it just tints your eyebrows and it's waterproof so that's a bonus for me and you can build it up as well so obviously when you uh, put it on to start off with it is quite light but you can build up the coverage to make it quite dark now I'm taking this Killer Curves Mascara by Collection and I'm just applying the mascara to my eyes it's um, a curve and volume mascara so it helps to volumise my eyelashes as I don't really have any. <laughs> now I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and I'm putting this under my eye and I'm also taking it down in like a triangle kind of shape and then I blend it out with a brush but first of all I'm dabbing it on with my finger so I'm not moving any products under my eyes, just dabbing it on to get the product into my skin. I actually love this concealer so much, it's the best one ever. And I'm also taking it down the bridge of my nose and just blending it in with the brush. But I'm not swiping it along my face, I'm dabbing and just pushing it into my skin. It helps to clean up any edges that you've got of any excess uh, eyeshadow as well. So now I'm taking this Prime and Set Primer Mattifying Setting Powder and I'm putting this under my eyes to set the concealer under my eyes and to stop any creasing. And as you can see, I do look up sometimes just to make sure that I'm not causing any creasing when I'm putting the powder on. That's a good tip. Also, when you're putting your concealer on, also look up as well so it doesn't set into the creases. So if you are looking down, you'd have your creases. So always look up when you apply it on your eye. So now I'm taking this Max Factor Pastel Compact in... Pastel 4 and I'm just taking a Real Techniques uh, powder brush and powdering this all over my face to set the foundation that I put at the beginning. And I'm not trying to pull it under my eyes because obviously I had a lighter colour under the eyes just to highlight the area so I avoid the area as I also put powder under there as well. Now I'm taking the Hoola bronzer by Benefit and as you can see I love this bronzer and I'm just 
contouring, I'm using the brush that was in the, the bronzer and carving out my cheekbones and I also take it up onto my um, temples and down onto my nose and under my jawline as well as you can see like the difference and don't worry if it's harsh I, um, I do blend it out afterwards and I love this bronzer because it's not like a shimmery it's matte and it's a nice grey tone kind of um, bronzer so I'm taking it onto my um, jawline and I focus on my chin as well. You can put as little as and as much as you want on there, there's no like right or wrong way. Some people like a more defined cheekbone and jawline, some people don't, but then you can blend it out as much as you want, you can add a little bit more powder onto your brush and then just blend it out so it's not as um, intense, but I do like my um, bronzer quite, or contour quite intense. Now I'm taking the Rockature uh, blush by Benefit and taking a Real Technique stippling brush and I'm just stippling that onto my um, apples of my cheeks and I'm kind of blend blending it in to the um, bronzer as well just to mix everything together and it's a nice highlight shade as well I don't usually use a highlight with this powder because it does have quite a nice shimmer to it now I'm taking this Rimmel Exaggerate waterproof eye definer and I'm just taking this on the top of my tight line and then I put it halfway on my waterline as you will see a weird eye <laughs> look <laughs> that's really creepy and as you can see I pull it hard I don't pull it all the way I pull it halfway as with my eyes I have quite small eyes so if I put it halfway it opens my eyes up quite a bit so I'm taking the mascara again, which is my collection, and um, putting more mascara on my tops and doing my bottom lashes as well, as I had put the concealer on before. I seem to be very distracted in this video. I don't know what was on the TV or anything, but then. I had some music on as well, but I don't know, I was really distracted for some reason. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also guys, if you want to um, suggest any videos that you want me to do, just leave any comments below and I'll be happy to do any videos, any makeup tutorials you want me to do, I'll be happy to do. Just let me know. So now that I'm done with the mascara, I'm now moving on to my lips and I used a lip liner which I'm not sure what it's from but first I like clean my lips first. But I don't know where the lip liner's from. It's kind of like a pinkish neutral brown colour and I'm just lining my lips, nothing too over the top and I'm just taking this MUA um, lipstick in the shade, shade 14 which is called Bear and it was alright but then I added this um, Rimmel, Rimmel Apocalypse um, or it's called Show Off lip gloss in the shade Comet and that gave a nice um, brownish kind of colour so yeah that's it, I hope you like this um, tutorial, or it's not a tutorial, my makeup routine which I practically do every day. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments below and yeah I'll see you later guys, bye!